is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient days. Therefore, he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor pains has brought forth, then the rest of his brethren shall return to the sons of Israel. And he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, and they shall dwell secure. For now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and this shall be peace, the word of the Lord. Dear family, let us rise up to welcome the gospel. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph before they came together, she was found to be with a child of the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to send her away quickly. But as he considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call him Jesus, for he will save people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Brothers and sisters, this is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our dear parish priest, Father Sawaiga, and your assistants, our director of Radio Maria Current, our Father Kalanzi, Raymond, and your assistants, 
the Chancellor of the Archdiocese of Kampala, my brother priests and religious men and women, I also greet our president, current president of Radio Maria, Severier Anthony Matega in our midst, and all past presidents of Radio Maria, brothers and sisters in Christ, all listeners and supporters of Radio Maria, ladies and gentlemen, I warmly welcome the few who are gathered here for this celebration. Thank you for coming. But in a special way, I welcome all of you who are participating virtually on your radios. The fact that the great majority of you all over the country are out they are following this function on, red, on your radios is a testimony that Radio Maria has achieved the goal of its founders to be a Christian voice in our houses, in our homes. In this period of the pandemic, when big religious gatherings are not possible, Radio Maria has helped many of us remain connected to our faith by giving us virtual access to the holy sacrifice of mass, to prayers, to catechesis, and many other resources that have nourished our faith. We thank God for having given us this Radio Maria. We are offering this holy sacrifice of mass in gratitude to God for the gift of Radio Maria as we celebrate 25 years of existence in Uganda. In Uganda, Radio Maria was first established in the Archdiocese of Omarara in 1996, led by Father John Baptist Bashagora and the Archbishop Paul Bachenga. We thank them. <laughs> Later, with the efforts of the late Father John Scarabrini, Father Isidore Mbareva, and other people of goodwill, Radio Maria began its countrywide extension. As we speak, Radio Maria has its national headquarters here in the Kampala on this hill of Mutungo Ruzira. Mother Mary has fed us well, but we are reaching out and we are having many, many stations joining this and Mbarara, the first or the pioneer, pioneering uh, radio stations. As we celebrate this liver jubilee of this existence of Radio Maria, Uganda, we thank the pioneering receptionists of Radio Maria, Father Vashogora, and Archbishop Pachenga. And also we thank God for this enormous growth. We thank God for the many people who have contributed to the establishment and growth, growth and, and sustenance, sustenance of Radio, of Radio Maria, Maria, Uganda. Uganda. We, we thank, thank God, God for the listeners of Radio, Radio Maria, Maria, Italy, Italy whose financial assistance, assistance and generosity enabled us to establish Radio, Radio, Uganda, Radio, Radio Maria Uganda, Uganda in 1996. We thank God for the various persons who have spearheaded the growth of Radio Maria and its national, na nationwide extension 
especially the successive directors and members of staff of the various substations. We thank God for the people of goodwill who generously contribute to the well-being and sustenance of our Radio Maria. As you very well know, Radio Maria does not obtain funds from or through advertisements like other radios do, other commercial radios do. It completely relies on the generosity of people of goodwill like you who make financial donations for the sustenance of its apostolate. And not only that, for the statutory taxes that we have to give to the government, we thank God for the 25 years now, Radio Maria has been sustained through the generosity of numerous people of this goodwill. We also offer gratitude to God for the many fruits of the presence of Radio Maria, Uganda, in the homes of, and lives of the people of God. For the 25 years, Radio Maria has helped strengthen the faith of people through spiritually nourishing programs. In an era where media is congested with content that is not useful for building faith and virtuous living, for 25 years now, Radio Maria has proved provided an alternative to people of all ages, and I uh, uh, emphasize of all ages and walks of life, by airing out programs that sol solidify faith and morals. There are radios that you can't leave home, stations that you don't want your children to listen to, or you fear to listen to. But with Radio Maria, you are free and comfortable and confident that when you leave it home and your daughter, your son, your adolescent daughter and son will find something nourishing spiritually, socially, morally for her or for him, freely. For all this, we are grateful to God. And we're going to continue to encourage you all to listen to Radio Maria so that we can build a sober and respected and respectful society. Providentially today, as we celebrate the 25th birthday of Radio Maria Uganda, we are also celebrating the feast of the Nativity birthday of Blessed Virgin Mary, who is the patron of Radio Maria. What a blessing. Radio Maria is sharing a birthday with Mother Mary. As listeners of Radio Maria, we are invited to imitate the Blessed Virgin Mary, who gives us an example of living a, a life of virtue, humility, faith, and trust in God in all circumstances of life. In today's readings, God is manifesting himself as a God of humble beginnings. At all times, the Lord is always capable of bringing something great out of something in insignificant in our lives if we place our trust in him. In the first reading, the Lord says through prophet Micah, you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are little among the, land, the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth one who is to be ruler of Israel. According to this prophecy, the long-awaited Messiah of the whole world would come from the humble and insignificant town of Bethlehem. God is always capable of bringing something significant out of something insignificant. Our story of, uh, as Radio Maria can also be compared with this. Radio Maria began as a small and insignificant station in Imbarara, but by the Lord's power, it has grown into a, a countrywide network 
and it is still growing and growing strongly. Let us continue humbly placing the work of our apostolate, Radio Maria, into the hands of God, that he may continue enabling the growth of our radio. In the Gospel, we have been presented with the lineage of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a very interesting lineage. lineage which is not very clean. It's not too clean. It has very many characters that disobeyed God, that were involved in immorality, but it also has saints in it. In this lineage, lineage we have seen famous men like the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and kings David and Solomon. But we have also heard of this, of the, the, the children of, of, of who came out of, of immorality. Solomon came out of indecency. David had this son, from the wife of Uriah, who was unbecoming. And that is the lineage of Jesus Christ, you can imagine. God can transform whatever is insignificant and sinful to become holy. He can transform myself from sinful life to holy life to saintly life. If you place yourself in the right place. We see God in, he, in, in the hand of God in this work. The insignificance of these men does not hinder God from bringing the Savior of the world from this lineage. God does not look at our social status, but rather he looks at our hearts. Our hearts need to be in the right place for the God to work in our lives. The gospel has presented to us two people whose hearts were in the right place, the Blessed Virgin Mary and Saint Joseph. The Blessed Virgin Mary opened her heart to God and accepted to bring forth the Savior of the world. She let God's will be done in her life and St. Joseph, on the other hand, has been described as a just man. It is because he was just that was unwilling to put Mary to shame for being with the child out of wedlock. The Gospel has told, that, has told us that he had resolved to send her away quietly and not to embarrass her. As we live our Christian lives, dear people of God, you always look up to these two saintly figures, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and especially this year, particularly this year, the devotion to Saint Joseph as uh, directed by His Holiness Pope Francis, let us emulate them. Emulate their virtue, the, the virtuous lives, and God's plan and purposes may also come to fulfillment in our lives. We too are called by God. We are not created for nothing. We are created to be involved in the ministry of God, his apostolate, especially as agents of evangelization, in word and example. As we celebrate years of the full, fruitful existence of Radio Maria Uganda, we place our radio under the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, especially as we celebrate the feast of her nat nativity today. And as listeners of Radio Maria, may we continue to always be attentive to this Christian voice in our homes. Let us continue loving and supporting Radio Maria and participating in its apostolate. We also pray that our participation in the activities and programs of Radio Maria 
may bear authentic fruit of virtuous living in our homes, our work, or place, and all the situations of our lives. May the Blessed Virgin Mary intercede for us. As we offer the sacrifice of Mass today, let us also remember those who have been supporting Radio Maria and have gone to our home in heaven. Even our brothers and sisters who have been Christians and God-fearing would like us to remember the Archbishop of Kampala, the late Cyprian Dr. Sipitis Doranga, who was a keen supporter of our Radio Maria and appoint directors to run this Radio Maria. Had he not gone, he would have been with us today. We also remember all the other priests and the faithful who have been supporting Radio Maria here in Uganda and all over the world. We also pray for our brother and elder shepherd, uh, Metropolitan uh, Jonah Ruanga, who passed on uh, as a sister of denominations. Uh, let us ask God to pardon him for any misbehavior, that he may be kind enough to place him in the right place that he always deserved it to be when he lived. And as we know, he has been a very powerful preacher, he preached powerfully and truthfully. May he be welcomed in heaven. I've heard today this morning that the, an, another, another radio broadcaster, I think has been very popular in Uganda. Eddie Ed, Ed who? DJ, DJ Emma. This young one is know him very well. <laughs> Let us remember him. As, yeah, sure, he has been giving people of God the, the message of God. Uh, may he be received into uh, heaven. He was a DJ. DJ means what? <laughs> Playing music and redemption. No? I hope that the, he might be placed in one of the places of the choirs in heaven. To, 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 to DJ there. <laughs> and as I conclude, I would like to, to, to congratulate those who are celebrating with Mother Mary today. Whose birthday today? Is there any of you? you doubt, if Idi Amin was here, would have stood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, DJ, and those who are celebrating birthdays uh, and the anniversaries, marriage anniversaries, priesthood anniversaries, uh, this, this month of September, congratulations and happy feast days and anniversaries and may be protected by Mother Mary. Hail Mary, Lord of grace, the Lord. Dear people of God, after listening to the wonderful homily, we open up our hearts to God through our various petitions, both at heart, those who sent in their prayer intentions earlier, and these special petitions that we have today.
Dear brothers and sisters, gathered as one to celebrate the good things we have received from our God, to celebrate the 25 years of Radio Maria, to celebrate the feast of Mother Mary, her birthday, let us ask him to prompt in us prayers that are worthy of his hearing. Tusabire kerezi ya katolika ngata andikira kuchitafe Papa Francis, Papa Episcopi, Papa Sasele Dolti, Banadini, Papa Somesa, na obo na, Papa Njigira Mkubunya Chigambo Wakatonda. Tata, tuka sabu wangiri muwe mutuo kirevo, ayungiro kubalu ngamia mbuweleza wepalimu, wakulembele haba kristu, mudembe ni mbuwe kanya. Tuchikusaba ayimu kama. Kurombe, kurombe muri sinari ya papa nga kurombe la rukosi muinambuli ya fe ya Uganda, kurombe wale papa kurombe humi ya chie baba nduos, baadhi ni lidi ma ba hakadi sabasho wa vira ita, kurebire suli, kuhui karamu rukosi, kuhubira muri sinari yomukasi ya fe Yesu Kristo. Mwambi kwa familia ya Radio Maria. Tuombea fadhili familia ya Radio Maria na wasichilizaji ili bwana mwema awabariki kwa msaada wao. Chalupa 